everybody, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to my channel. To everyone new, hello and welcome. So today you are looking at my sweet boy Stellan. Um, he is the Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Um, he is a fairly new baby to my collection. In fact, Stellan, Stellan is the newest. Yeah, he, he's the little new guy. So there's been so much excitement going on that it's like, oh, all these babies. So I'm sharing my precious little Stellan with you today to talk about um, uh, making our reborns feel extremely real. What we can do to make our dolls feel so real to us to give us that ultimate experience. And I'm using little Stellan as an example because I just actually reweighted him for the second time because I wasn't thrilled with um, the first way I, I, well, it was okay. The first way I reweighted him, but I just, I knew I wanted some adjustments. Um, and I was going to wait because he is going to get, uh, rerouted. Um, you'll notice his hair. I mean, I can get it looking cute for like, you know, pictures and videos, but in person, it's just, it's not the, you know, the quality that I want. Um, nothing to do with the artist because he had been, it, long story, he had been rerouted from his original, um, self and then I tried by uh myself with um um tediously plucking one hair at a time with tweezers to try to bring back his original look and I'm just not thrilled I, I need it professionally done so anyway um that being said I was going to wait but you know what I I want to enjoy him right now while he's here with me I'm loving him and he's new so I'm going to talk a little bit about um, waiting a reborn. Now you can, as you can see, Stellan is, if you flop him, if you hold him, you know, from the arch of his back, he is going to fall. His arms are loose. He's going to fall like a newborn baby. So you obviously want to, you know, hold his head up when you're picking him up. And I don't know the weight on him now, but I want to guess he's a good six and a half, seven pounds. Um, let's see, because I added more weight to him. Yeah, seven pounds, good seven pounds, maybe like seven, two. If I had a guess, I don't have a scale here to weigh him, but, um, you have to think logically about what a new, what, you know, a newborn baby, uh, what their weights are. And of course, weights fluctuate, but for the size of like, say, a Levi, for instance, I think that Levi is a good size newborn. Um, you know, he's, when you put newborn clothing on him, he's not like swimming in it like a lot of newborn babies are. So he's... You know, if you, if you gave birth to the, you know, this size, he's a good size baby. He's a good seven, eight pound baby. So you want the weight to feel that way for, you know, whatever sculpt it is that you have. Now, with that said, you know, artists are going to usually weigh the baby how, however they weight their babies. And there really is no right or wrong way for an artist to weight a baby um, because everybody's preferences are so different. So they can't possibly get everyone's right. So they're just going to do it a certain way, what works for them, what feels good to them, whatever the case may be. Sometimes if they're shipping far, they want to make them less weight. It's less expensive, yada, yada, yada. So as long as they're using proper, like, new weighting materials, and there's many different kinds. There's different kinds of stuffings that can be used. There's different kinds of um, glass beads, crushed glass, uh, the, the green glass balls, different types of, you know, glass um, 
that's acceptable for, you know, we consider acceptable for waiting. Heck, some artists still even go with the old fashioned way and put them in the rubber glove and not the stocking. Now to me, that makes a jam packed, you know, hard piece of concrete, like you wouldn't want to, you know, use it. But again, it's, these are all acceptable things, but mostly they will put them in, in the stockings. Um, stockings don't, aren't always perfect. Sometimes, you know, beads, glass can, you know, come out, move around, etc. So it's something as reborn doll collectors that is very, very important. Um, if you are, um, on your way to becoming a discerning collector or even just a, a reborn mommy of, you know, one reborn, maybe two, whatever it is. And you wish to have your babies feeling, you know, the way that you love. Um, it's really important to know the basics and have the basic uh, tools on hand to reweight a reborn. Um, first things first, and I use, I find that uh, this type of clipper works good in snipping off the the uh the zip tie on the back or the side of their the neck um it's it's sharp it gets in close um you can use a scissor other type of nail clippers whatever you're comfortable with but this is just what i find that works the best and you are you simply go to the back and maneuver this this uh zip tie here out and um whoop and you would snip it. Obviously, I already did him, so I'm not going to be doing it. But, you know, you just move it until you get to the zip tie part and give it a snip just carefully. Um, and that's re that's as easy as that. And the zip ties, the kind of zip ties that you want to use, and I just ordered a whole new box of them, um, which I have here. They came. But these are zip ties from Bountiful Baby, so they're nice and thin. They're long and thin. You can order, they have, I think, the shorter size ones that you can use for limbs, uh, limbs and the head, but um, but they have a, a small little thing. They're very thin. They're very petite as opposed to um, uh, just a regular zip tie you'd get, say, at Home Depot. So these are the things that you want to have. They are not terribly expensive. You can get them at any place that sells reborn doll supplies, um, Bountiful Babies, McPherson's, uh, Dolls by Sandy, uh, I probably Irresistibles. Um, you're going to want to have your uh, stockings, your uh, the knee-high stockings work good. I tend to get stockings um new brand new stockings but packages of stockings like from my local thrift shops that people will donate and I get them really cheap and if they're if they're a good thick pair of stockings um they will hold the glass um beads very well you can also order them like Bountiful Baby has them I think they're knee highs um that I have never used Bountiful BBs, but I heard that they um, work good and hold the glass beads in good. So you're going to want to have those. And you're going to want to have some type of stuffing. I have, let's see, I have the um, Angel Silk, which this is almost gone by. I have, I have it away in Ziploc bags. Um, but this is the Angel Silk. It's very, very, very fine very very soft light fluffy soft like a cloud um then you have you know other types of um stuffing um and ones that are more like a batting material i mean there's just there's lots of kinds and everything is acceptable and you kind of want to know how well, you'll get to know as you go along how you like your baby to feel. I will sometimes use the angel silk, like kind of build it around inside the, um, the stock, you know, the stockings with the glass beads and then put the stockings in the middle, kind of like you're building a snowman. So I have that nice soft around, but then I will use some of the more firmer stuff 
a little bit up top here so that the neck has just a wee bit more support you know it's and it also depends on the sculpt um as well and the feel that you're trying to achieve because everybody likes something different i like them heavy and as floppy as floppy as possible um a real baby's anatomy um the butt's gonna be the heaviest the head's gonna be the second heaviest but the butt so you want the butt and the bottom to have a really good amount of weight in it and then build up from there uh, like I said, almost as if a snowman, but I put like a long, I do the butt, a big, you know, big heavy sack in the butt and then a long, heavy um, one for the middle and then like a smaller one on top, something of the sort. Um, they also uh, have baby fat um, and I've had, I've gotten this in many dolls I had ordered this before I kind of knew what it was and it's just kind of like a gel bead um so it feels really nice and I do have a few babies that are weighted with this from the artist that I have kept it and I liked it but it is not as heavy as the glass beads uh, uh the fine glass so I order my fine glass by the 10 pound and then I pour pour it into a thing like this uh off of eBay so it's it's this very 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 fine so the finer that you get the more maximizing weight to the space you're gonna have so this is great for limbs and this is great if you're trying to kind of pack as much weight in a baby without making them stiff <laughs> um so uh, preemies, I recommend that for preemies, um, newborns, um, size babies, and then the baby fat, um, and you can see I actually have sacks of this is baby fat that I've taken out of dolls that I've gotten from artists, and I've replaced with the same size sack, except I've used the fine glass because it's heavier than the baby fat but the baby fat does feel nice it feels nice squishing the middle mm, for me I'm not so much of needing to have a squish feel I want to feel the baby feel real when I lift the baby and in the baby's movements when I am holding the baby that's what floats my boat but you will get to learn of course what floats your boat um, so that's just an important thing to learn. Um, zip ties is, of course, something that any doll collector, any reborn doll collector is going to want to have on hand because, my goodness, things happen. You know, uh, head can pop off, limbs can pop off. It's, it's the inevitable when you're a doll collector. And then you wind up having to wait, uh, order and wait if you have nothing in the house and then you have your baby sitting there that could be new or that you just love and want to hold and they're headless or something so that's really really important because artists look I've had I kept just to show I mean I had a baby come with this inside of it this is all the weight that the baby had, and they are cheap plastic beads. They weigh nothing, and they're just cheap old plastic beads. You know, the artist chinsed out. Was I annoyed because the baby was kind of over a certain amount, and you would expect <laughs> fine glass beads and not cheap weighting materials? Yes, but... Oh, well, I just reweighted the baby. These were in the limbs and everything. And loose in the head. And this was the whole baby. We had nothing. Anyway, um, so, but that's, you know, it happens. And you're not going to return a baby or bug an artist over something like that and make yourself, you know, a pain in the dupe bot in this community. You know, you, you have to... Just accept the fact that these are things that we run into um, as reborn doll collectors. So, uh, also making a baby feel 
real. And I'm going to um, put Stellan into this adorable little Carter's. Uh, um, I woke up this cute <laughs> little romper um, and some little white slippers. Um, just felt like having them in this. And the more realistic that your baby looks as far as the uh, clothing, um, obviously, um, most of us know and get real baby clothes and not doll clothes. Um, and uh, you can find some great things secondhand, very reasonably priced, even the nice, uh, high, you know, higher end name brands you can find um, if you're diligent and you look hard enough and you stick around long enough and you get to know who has sale pages, when they'll be doing their sales, and you can kind of stock those and you know, remember that you don't have to start, <laughs> you know, with everything all at once. You know, um, collections are meant to grow. So that includes the babies, that includes the clothes. Most people that collect anything, collections grow over time. Um, they People start to um, upgrade or buy more uh, valuable things in the genre that they're collecting. So, you know, that goes for the dolls, that goes for the clothes. You know, many of us um, just kind of upgrade as we go along. So don't feel frustrated when you first start and you see all these ladies like, oh, two, two years ago, I would have been drooling just over a new Carter's outfit on a baby. Like, you know, it's, um, you know, but you slowly get there. You pick up a, 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 piece here and there when you can um it's coming up spring and summer um yard sales are excellent um places to go to find um baby clothing accessories strollers car seats uh you know uh little uh bouncy seats daca tots all kinds of things you can find at like amazing prices sometimes you know I've seen people score you know $300 strollers for 10 bucks at a yard sale like you know it happens sometimes you got to put a little elbow grease in and clean something up but um eventually um you know no matter what budget you're working on on you're gonna be able to achieve what what you would like um so i always found and even as a child the dolls that felt the the most real in my arms for some reason i was able to have um you know they were my favorites you know even though they may have not been the most realistic looking you know, I don't know, you all can comment and let me know um, if any of you, any others of you besides myself have felt that way about um, your, your dolls, even as a child, is the way that they feel important to you. Because, um, yeah, I've always found that and I found that once I learned to weight my own reborns and once I, you know, bought the materials and kept it on stock, I recommend if you're getting the glass beads um, to find them on eBay, make sure they are the fine glass and just buy in bulk like a 10 pound and, you know, spend the, I don't know, 20 something dollar, I, whatever it is. I'm not sure. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's a hundred dollar. You know, it's, it's in and around, you know, 20 to $30 say invest in it. You'll have it for a while, especially if you don't have tons of babies coming in and out all the time. You'll then always have it there to, uh, weight your babies and it makes all the difference. And then it makes difference also imposing them for pictures and it most definitely makes a difference in um, the vi your videos as well. Now 
I did this video a few months ago and I'm going to do some more about um, filming and making your reborns look real. So people that it's like undeniably like if you were not in the doll community and you found the video, you would definitely believe that I was holding a real baby. Um, so there's lots of tricks, um, you know, to use and most especially is in handling your reborns. And when they have the proper weight for, for their proportion and they're feeling like a real baby, you can't help but support their head and pick them up gently into your arms and continue to support their head and treat them as though they are a real baby and delicate as we should treat our reborns. But the more that you do this and if you do a feeding video, you know, realistically as possible, you want to, um, you know, handle your reborn doll the same way and with the same gentleness as though they were an actual brand new baby just born just home from the hospital their skin is delicate their heads need to be supported you you know you you speak a little bit more softly you give loving touches like just the way you would treat a baby and that also helps the bonding process um, for you with your um, with your reborn dolls. So anyway, ladies, I hope that that was helpful to you all. Um, there are uh, great tutorials um, that are are specifically on reweighting dolls that you can actually see the process of the zip tie being clipped and. The doll being stuffed and all of that um and i don't even need to put links because all you got to do is just type it in the search bar reweighting a reborn doll and you will get good videos that will come up of ladies here in the community or artists that have shared that entire process but i thank you for being with me today and please don't give this <laughs> don't <laughs> please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and would like to see more of my reborn in silicone dolls please feel free to smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get invites to my live streams and so you never miss a video until next time god bless